Welcome to the Axiom. New file detected. Launching file. How's it going, everybody? My name is Leo, and today we are continuing the Disco Elysium file. Where we last left off, we had uh, reported back to the cryptozoologists about our findings with the trap. And uh, we found out that Kuno had been the one who took the locusts. And we had a very interesting conversation with him. And then he agreed to uh, not mess with the traps anymore. He also seemed to know what the Insulindian Phasmid was, which was surprising. And then we uh, stocked the traps, and then we imagined the Ferris wheel on the boardwalk. Um, and so today, we have quite a few things that we can do. And I figured I'd start out with... Um, I actually misunderstood the quest for getting a tape with a melody for Egghead. I had thought that he was talking about finding one at the pawn shop, but what he actually said was... Uh, look for one at the street vendor across from the par the pawn shop, Selang. So we're going to go ahead and talk to him and see if he has a tape really quick. And then we'll report back to Lena about refilling the traps. And then I think we're going to uh, look along the coast to see if we can find um, the Sunday friend, the bureaucrat, the guy from the moral intern. But uh, let's talk to Selang. Selang. Everything's still cool here, officer. The street vendor assures you. Hey, a quick question. Do you sell any tapes? Tapes? You mean like music tapes? No, music is out. Don't listen wow. to music. I sell extremely cool sunglasses. If you want to get your mojo going. He points at the shoddy box to the left. I immediately uh, dislike you more now. All right, so you have no idea whatsoever where I could find tapes? Tapes? Tapes are <laughs> everywhere. They're worthless. Kids throw them in the trees. There's one in the bushes right behind this lorry. <laughs> okay. No one would ever throw a good pair of high quality plastic sunglasses in the bushes, mister. His smile widens and he nods at the empty lorry cabin behind his back. You should have a look. It's better than nothing. I'll leave you for now. Uh, what did he have for sale again? Shine Just to see. Sunglasses lasts a lifetime, officer. 100% guarantee. Plus one electrochemistry. I don't need that. Plus one Inland Empire. I don't need that either. Nothing is for sale there. And what was this over here? You keep coming back. Good Plus one composure, you minus one scissor, si shivers. Economy. I was just talking earlier about how I could use more stuff for composure, so I think I will actually buy this one. Gotta prepare for springtime, right? The street vendor seems pleased. Leave for now. This nylon wind cheater is so dynamic, it wraps around you like a membrane. Equipped with a stowable hood, the back side of the garment is covered in sport and summer related text. It swishes softly as you walk. Plus one composure, keep your cool, minus one shivers, weatherproof. Obviously I won't be using it now, but I think it's good that I have another piece of clothing that will help me with composure. But let's go ahead and look in the bushes and see if we can find this tape. Oh, is it like... strands of tape? in this bush the hawthorn tree on rue de songe's lane bronze colored ribbons of magnetic tape are caught in its branches fluttering mm. in the breeze good hawthorn patting the tree reveals a small sticker which has almost been worn to oblivion it reads <laughs> rcm emergencies desk number 8102 underneath a slogan mankind be vigilant. The bronze ribbon twists around and within the branches in an intricately natural pattern. But there's something. What do I see? There's a twisted logic in this mess. You see the ends of the ribbon, the way it flows, how it oh, twists cool. and turns. It's all starting to make sense. It'll be easier to remove now. 
Excellent. Tape release calculations. The multi-tool is truly multi. Huh, interesting. Well, let me uh, leave really quick and put on my better interfacing gloves. And then I believe I remember I don't have anything other than these to help with interfacing. If I equip the multi-tool, does that help me? Like if I actually equip it in my hand? The gnarled hawthorn tree on Rue de Sanger's lane. A wintry breeze blows by, making the magnetic tape flutter. Okay, I don't think it helps. I think it actually disappeared from my hand. <laughs> but, uh, 83%, disentangle the tape. With slow and deliberate motions, pulling, bending, and unraveling, you manage to extricate Excellent. the magnetic tape from the branches. I just got it, jeez. <laughs> it curls up into a mess inside your pocket. If only you could find a way to re-spool it so that you could hear what's on the tape. Uh... Maybe Roy from the pawn shop can help you with this. Okay. What's the tape for? Um... <laughs> the lieutenant looks at the mess in your hands. Only after you've successfully cleaned up the branches does the curiosity get him. <laughs> um... It's for Egghead. I promise to make his Van Ake's jam hit a bit harder. Maybe this tape can help. How? It's broken and unspooled. Do you think your new buddy knows how to fix it? Um... I'm not sure, but I'll find out. Maybe Egghead can point me in the right direction. You could also get it fixed at the pawn shop across the street. We shouldn't waste our time. He looks at his wristwatch a little impatiently. Good idea. He might have the tools. The tape projector in the pawn shop uses similar tape. Leave. Okay. Repair the broken bundle of mag magnetic tape. Let me go ahead and... Yeah, that just completely disappeared from my hand. And let me also switch these out. The bronze color tape was found in the branches of a hawthorn tree on Rue de saint glissane It gleams whenever a ray of sun hits the surface. All right, well, let's see if we can get this figured out. Roy, don't fail me now. Is it just me or is it snowing harder than it was before? I'm not 100% sure, but let's go ahead and talk to Roy. Hello, hello. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Hey, do you know how to fix this? Show him the bundle of ma magnetic tape. You mean raise spoolie? Yeah, I do, but... Great. Could you do it, please? This is important. I need to be able to play this tape for someone. But I'm not some Mr. Fix-It. I'm a pawnbroker. If you want to pawn the tape, sure. Although it looks pretty... worthless. Just okay. explain why you need this so much. He's bound to understand. Hmm. Worthless? It's not worthless, Roy. This could be the next big thing for the local dance music scene. Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> he slowly taps his fingers on the counter. Do you know that old church down the coast? Yes. What about it? I met some young ravers near the place. They want to turn the church into a nightclub and play some weird neo-disco beats there. They call it anodic dance music. I promise to help them with that. Is it any good? The music, I mean. No, that's the thing. You can't believe how unbelievably thin the beat is. There's nothing to it, no bass. It just goes bzz, bzz, bzz. But this tape could make it hardcore. Man. You're really invested in this. <laughs> he looks at the bundle of tape in front of him. It shimmers under the shop's dazzling light show. Okay, I'll help you out. It's going to take a moment, though. So just sit back and relax. Continue. You take some time to look around the store. The play of visuals all around the pawn shop is mesmerizing. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, Roy turns back to you with a reel of tape in his hand and coughs. 
It was, in fact, 15 minutes. That's fine, though. Well, thanks for the help. Proceed, take the repaired tape. Yeah, my pleasure. I'll do what I can for true passion projects. Just try not to use this tape for negative photon emissions. Take responsibility. Okay. Okay. I have other business to take care of now, and we can go ahead and listen to the tape. The bronze-colored tape found in the branches of a hawthorn tree has been reconstructed into a usable reel of man magnetic tape. It's pretty fragile and in an odd format which doesn't fit into any portable tape players. Nevertheless, Egghead will be stoked. So I can't actually play it? Hang on, let me see. Let me exit the store. Can I not play this tape? Tools. Items. Oh, I guess I can't. Huh. I guess I just take it to Egghead and see what happens. Let's go ahead and report back to Lena really quick though, since we're on this side of the waterlock. All right. Hello, dear. It's good to see a familiar face. The, el the elderly woman smiles up at you, hopefully. I restocked the trap, the empty trap. Where's Morel? Thank you for doing that, dear. She manages a smile for you. Her smile is weary. Her earlier ebullience has left her. Oh, I forgot to do my normal cl my empathy clothes. Morel still isn't feeling well. I convinced him to stay at Gary's to get some rest. I'm afraid the cold has really gotten to him. It's probably for the best. It's awfully cold out there in the reeds. I'm sorry, dear. You've had to drudge through them so many times. Such is field work. A young person's game, as they say. Her voice is shaky. What is going on here? So, who's going to check the traps? Morel will eventually, or we'll talk Gary into going back out, perhaps. The lieutenant stares at his shoe, caked in mud. He doesn't say anything. <laughs> Something tells me it's up to me again. No, you don't have to do that. Enough of this fool's errand. Morel will do it. Or Gary. You have work to do. I I've wasted enough of everyone's time. Intellect. Be real. Gary is not going to help with this. We'll take care of it. That really is too much, sweetie. Thank you for your dedication, but I can see you're coming down with a cough yourself. Very strange. Why is she not letting you do this? It's like she's given up. Lena, what's wrong? You seem different. Different? How? You're not telling me the whole story. I'm not. It's not bad. She doesn't know how to end the sentence. What is it? It's a... A strange feeling. I haven't really told this to anyone, but... You are a police officer. She looks down, biting her lower lip. And when a police officer asks, you must answer. Do you ever wonder if some lovely story from your childhood is just that? A story? Or a dream? Seeing the Insulindian Phasmid was just a story I used to tell people. I didn't really think about whether it was real or not. Huh. But... Morel told me you'd told me you'd seen it. You also told me. Morel's so proud of it. He always tells everyone. So did she lie? A terrible sting in the heart. Regret. You seemed to really believe it happened. Doesn't that count for something? N no, sweetie. There's more to it than that. 
Morel was so eager to believe my story was evidence of the Phasmid's existence. That he's wasted a lot of his life trying to prove it? Is that, that what you're saying? That I'm some queen of the cryptozoologists. That. And for years, his belief made me believe too. That I am a queen? An extraordinary witness to grace. But now, we're both getting old, and he's still working himself sick out in those reeds looking for it. But what if I was just wrong? I think I was. The lieutenant opens his notebook, but doesn't write anything. He's hiding. These things are tough on him. Matters of love, not violence or deceit. Oh boy. Oh, and the music stopped. I don't know if that's just the end of the loop or if the music actually stopped because this is an emotional moment. Man, I wish I had remembered to change out my clothes. I'm glad that at least the check is high still. I'm going to try it. First, tell her that her marriage hasn't been a lie. But it Damn. Has, hasn't it? A seed can only bear what's inside. Was that seed snake eyes? Is black and oily. No. Wow. Out of all the checks to fail on. I mean, well, I have to go with it. Lying has gotten you this far. Why stop now? You might be right, detective. She looks down at her legs. I was a paraplegic before we met. He didn't know before I came in on our first date. If I weren't the queen of the cryptozoologists, I didn't tell him that story. Oh my god, am I... In failing that check, am I convincing her that the only reason why he married her was because of that story about a lie she told? Jeez. She has to swallow to relax her throat. It's keeping her from talking. He'd still be into you. That's not how, that's not how these things work. Maybe, but... Then why do I not dare tell him? I I've wasted enough of your time with this drama. I really must stop talking about it lest I start crying and waste more of your time. What you have to know is the Insul Indian Phasmid probably does not exist. Let us fools chase our ghosts. There are a million better things to do with your life. That, that check hurt to fail. Are there? Some of the other things are pretty bad. Hmm. Thing is, you're not sure you made it up either. I'm not sure of anything. Sometimes I still see it, you know. The real memory. Not the memory of the memory, but it's so hard to tell the two apart either way i should go poor morel is running a fever and i need to get him home to jamrock before we overstay our welcome with gary are you sure you don't need help getting to gary's oh no thank you but i can get there on my own this old thing is gas powered and then a taxi home it's not so bad You do that. I'll check the traps one more time. Really? Yes. Oh, sweetie. Please don't get stuck on a dream. Take it from me and Morel. No one can stop you from finding the phasmid. <laughs> can I have your address, just in case there's news? Okay. It's 1113 Tabernacle Road. Jamrock, but... A sigh. She doesn't think you'll need it. It's been a pleasure, ma'am. 
that lie, sweetie. Thank you for everything. Truly. Even though it turned out to be a... The sentence remains unfinished. A waste of time. A dream. A lie. A fool's hope. Say her lips move in in silence. Like that, she drives off. The gas engine patters oh my God. as she gets to the doors, <laughs> then pushes them open. Outside, it's snowing. That scared me a little bit. I was just like, it, would, it ended with this such profound thing, like, even though it turned out to be a waste of time, a dream, a lie, a, a fool's hope. And then all of a sudden, just... <laughs> but... Yeah. I can't believe this quest ended like that. Like... The writing in this game is absolutely fantastic. Like, the fact that it ended with, like, kind of this, like, almost existential question, kind of, as to whether or not chasing this thing has been worth it, even though she doesn't even know whether or not she saw it, and... Like the the fact that I failed to check, ma whoops! The fact that I failed to check just made it like hit harder because I didn't want to fail the check. I'm going to like like I said in a previous episode, I'm not going to any checks that I pass or fail. I'm gonna go with it. I'm not gonna save scum or anything like that. But like, yeah. I don't know if anything would have changed if I had succeeded at the check. I don't know. We should go to... And with that, the quest is done. Okay. So now... I'm practically a shrink minus the diploma. Uh, let's go ahead and, um, go back across the water lock. This quest went in some unexpected directions. Like, first that whole, like, the conversation with Kuno as well. And then the, yeah, this whole thing with Lena just struggling with the fact that she might have, like, made her husband sick over nothing and he's been like he she's afraid that he won't love her anymore if she tells him the truth that even she doubts her own memory which i mean i don't blame her for she was five wasn't she here let's just i guess The trap is full of locusts, but they seem weak and unhealthy. A few lie on their backs with their legs twitching. Still, no phasmid. Poor things. What am I wearing again? I'm wearing the visual drama glasses. I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to the horrific necktie, just so I don't miss out on any lines of dialogue. It w they were funny. Um, perception boots, heck yeah. Um, I think I am going to keep my the pants I have on because I don't care about the red ones. Drama, visual calculus, encyclopedia. Um, I think that's good. I think we're good, yeah. So let us go to Egghead. 
which is around here. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna be running around the snow anyway, might as well check the traps if I happen to run across them. Let's go ahead and report back to Egghead. And then let's go ahead and actually, um, let me change out my clothes. Let me do, let me do suggestion. Uh, empathy. Actually, should I do my logic jacket? Now nah, my logic is pretty high. Let me let me do this. The large-headed youth has closed his eyes, lost in the music. Sensing you, he opens them. Good morning. Yeah, pump it up. <laughs> he shouts, apparently unaware of the time of day. I found this reel of tape. Maybe you can use it to f to uh, hard up Ike's jam. Give him the fixed Hawthorne tree tape. Yeah! Remix time! Tape goes here, into deck B. He clicks a switch, the tape starts spinning. His voice booms through the church, through the church, as he takes the tape and attaches it to the empty slot. Oh... So maybe this line is if I had gotten them into the church by this point, which I haven't yet. I, I haven't gotten them into the church yet because I haven't been able to open the freezer. A hand on his ear, he listens to the audio through his headphones and shouts. Wow, did you get this from Arno himself? I don't know. A great excitement is bubbling to the surface within him. This is big. What do you mean? Listen, I'm just going to show it to you. Ready? Okay, yeah, I'm ready. Okay. If only we had the beat for the full assault, it would be unbelievably hyper. Intriguing. The way I see it, Van Ake based his remix on some famous original piece, like a folk song, something local. Seems you found an initial part with the main melody. Huh. I think it's just happenstance, chaos in action, contingencies of our limited existence. <laughs> That and Egghead's fantastic talent. He nods to his friend behind the turntables. Noid's right. Egghead's technical talent is the key. <laughs> no, this is definitely part of the same song. Something cut from it. It fits too well. Hmm. Something mysterious is going on here. Maybe Arno Van Eyck lives around here and just threw a part of his song away because he thought it was shit? Be how it may, if it fits, it fits. Bring up the volume. I got a new thought. What about the bass? Do you have any ideas for that? Andre looks back at you. Yeah, I remember. You said it needs more bass. Hmm. Honestly, nothing springs to my mind right now, but I'll see if I can come up with a solution down the lane. Proceed with task. Yo, the warrior! The warrior of dance music! Don't be too hard on yourself if you don't figure it out. I think the jam's already pretty ultra. <laughs> it definitely did make it better. But it could be hyper, hyper hardcore! Alright, goodbye, Egghead. Help Egghead with the beat. This might take a while. 
Okay. So what is the Ono Van Eyck thought? The, the question won't leave you. Why did the melody line from a broken and discarded tape fit perfectly into a song played by some speed freaks in a frozen tent? Can it be a coincidence? Maybe it's the hand of the man machine himself in his attempt to craft a per perfect song. Maybe Egghead is actually Arno Van Eyck in disguise. Eyck? Egg? Hmm. Plus one interfacing. I actually could really use that. Hmm. Maybe, huh. I don't know now. Do I want to do, do I want to do that? Or do I want to, uh... It's only going to take 50 minutes. This one's gonna take a while and I need the, I need the physical instrument. I've had to keep stopping. Like I could, I could stop this one, uh, internalize the Arno Van Eyck thought instead, and then next time I get a point, unlock a new thought. Or when I get a point, I need to put it in physical instruments so that I can try the other check again and then do the Wasteland of Reality? I don't know. I'll think about it, but I'm very close to being able to get a new point. Okay, so we've done both of those things. Um, let's go ahead and look along the coast. While we're at it, we can probably check the traps. Let me switch out my clothes back to what I was wearing before. This and... Do I want my logic glasses instead? Don't I have logic glasses? I do. Nah, let's do this. Um... Let me... Someone said I should try calling more random numbers, which is something I was planning to do anyway, but I wasn't sure when. Let me see what this does. You pick up the handset. There's a tone. The machine is operable. Put in 10 cents and dial a random number. Calling. Still calling. Again? Seriously? <laughs> It's Someone only the second time. The masculine voice picks up. Hello, Gerard speaking. Hello, Gerard. Technically speaking, you're electricity. Mm hmm. No, what you are is a surprise. Get his wife on the phone. Uh. I don't think that's a good idea. Let, let's do this one. Let's do a classic prank call. Is electricity there? I need to speak with electricity, please. No, but I got a feeling Al kick your ass is going to make you <laughs> if you ever call this number again. Have a good one, asshole. <laughs> Phone hanging up. Disconnect tone. Let's call one more. Calling. 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 Still calling. Still calling. Oh boy. Stop calling me, man. Someone picks up. The voice on the other end is slightly hysterical. Was that Call Me Manana? I'll get you your money, alright? I just need to tonight. Let me work. Uh. Oh boy. Interesting. Let You know what? We're going to do the honorable thing. You seem to be in some sort of trouble. Maybe I can help you? I'm a police officer. The phone gets hanged up fast as lightning. All you hear 
is a little shuffle of knowledge <laughs> as the hand moves on the other end. Disconnect tone. <clears throat> sure, let's go ahead and leave. I don't want to do the dishonorable thing. I don't want to take the dude's money. Oh, that would be hilarious. Um, but let's go ahead and look along the coast. I don't know which coast I'm supposed to look upon to try and find this guy, but we shall see. Is he over here somewhere? Let's check this trap really quick just to make sure. A few locusts trudge along the wall of the trap. The rest are piled in a heap in the corner, dead. No phasmid anywhere. Poor things. If I go up here... Nope. Alright, let's see if I can find him along this coast. I think there's a trap down here as well, so I'll check this really quick while I'm here. The trap is filled with dead and dying locusts. Most of them aren't moving anymore. You still can't see a phasmid anywhere. Poor things. Okay. He's not up here, is he? Oh, he is. He's right there. No, wait a minute, wait. Need to change my clothes. Uh, I don't think he'll care much for empathy, so we'll do suggestion. Actually, I think suggestion's gonna be pretty important for this one. Um, so yeah, let's go with this. As you approach, the man turns and greets you with a polite wave. He appears completely at ease, like a common holiday maker. Ah, super. It's the officer. I was not expecting to run into you again, but things have a funny way of turning out, no? I wasn't expecting to run into you again either, but people have said this quest is good, so I'm checking it out. What brings you down to the scenic Martinez coast? Um... Actually, I was wondering what you're doing out here. Hmm. Well, that's très simple. I was visiting the fishing village just north of here. They have applied for a series of microloans to revitalize the old market. And, well, I wish to see the situation firsthand. Interesting. And then, well, I had some extra time on my hands, so I decided to stroll down here. It's quite peaceful, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. Yes. There's nothing like a stroll along the coast to lift one's spirits. Let's not talk about the bullet holes. Ah bon? I'm all ears, officer. I need your help forming a committee. I'm trying to assign la responsabilité. My friend, if it's la responsabilité you're after, I have good news for you. There's no need to form such a committee because it already exists. Oh, is, it, is he going to say it's the moral intern? God, of course it does. <laughs> These moral intern types. The Comité de Responsabilité de Reva Scholl oh. acts as a sort of clearinghouse for coalition activities. To put it simply, they are the ultimate arbiters of la responsabilité in this part of the world. Yes, this is just the sort of reasonable authority you're looking for. It is? I would offer to connect you with the committee myself, but alas, I am not actually in Martinez. Fair. What? Where is he then? He's speaking figuratively. He means he's not in Martinez in his official capacity. I got it. You're only here on personal business. Precisément. Officially, I am still in La Delta, preparing for an upcoming conference on fuel oil derivatives. That's why it would be extremely irregular, or potentially even 
Inappropriate for me to intercede with the committee concerning a district I'm not officially in. How am I supposed to contact the committee then? Well, under ordinary circumstances, the committee contacts you. Interesting. In other words, the committee only knows what it wants to know. Interesting way of doing business. But if you have information of a vital interest, they might be willing to entertain an exception. In which case, I would advise you to contact them via Coalition Worship Archer. Why do I need to go through Archer to speak to the committee? You see, in addition to being an airborne artillery platform, Coalition Worship Archer is also the linchpin of the Coalition's surveillance and communications infrastructure in Revachon. Hmm. Hold on, it's watching us too? And listening. It has the most objective vantage point in the entire city. Not to mention a vast array of radio, photographic, and meteorological monitoring instruments. I find it a great comfort to know there are benevolent powers watching over all, in strict accordance with the Wayfarer Act and the Brüsselmüne Convention. I guess that's one way of looking at it. Benevolent powers watching over all. So how does one go about contacting a coalition warship? Hmm. This is quite the problem. Very tricky. Of course, the Archer has orders to fire on any unidentified aerostatics that might approach it. So it might be safer to get in touch from the ground. Okay. But in that case, you would require a radio transmitter capable of broadcasting on coalition frequencies. And that kind of technology naturally isn't typically available for non-coalition use. Yes, it is a bit of a conundrum. You wouldn't be hap you wouldn't happen to be talking about the same type of radio transmitter that Suna is currently using, are you? I suppose there might be some way to circuit bend your way onto those frequencies, but you'd have to be one of those techno tinkerers to do it. Do you know any of these tinkerers? Unfortunately not. No. I don't have the pleasure. I am merely a representative of the coalition government. Not very well versed in technology. But you? Sounds like something that programmer we met in the church might be able to help with. Yep. Let me just say that I have complete confidence in the RCF. I'm sure you'll figure something out. Thank you for your time. Always my pleasure to be of assistance to the RCF. Godspeed. And if we don't meet again, bonne chance. Interesting. Find someone with technical expertise to contact the coalition, which would be Suna. So, what do I do now? <laughs> I don't think I can get into this building at all. So, I'm wondering if I should just go ahead and check the last trap. Because it's the last trap. Um, out of curiosity, what does this check at now? The once bright mural towers above you, saying, Feld Electrical, R and D. Tomorrow is just a whisper away. Found the empty trap, heard Lena's true story, reconstructed execution, death notification. Okay. So we could potentially do that. Let me get my normal clothes back on. Um... I mean, let's actually, let's actually try it. Let's see... So, there's something else that gives me shivers, isn't there? Or is it just that coat? Oh, this tank. No. This gives me shivers. I don't think... Oh. This tie gives me shivers. And... I don't think anything else gives me shivers. Let me go ahead and switch out my shoes because I was planning on switching that out anyway. Um, so I need to remember just I need to switch out my jacket, my shirt, and my necktie when I'm done with this. 
So let's try this one more time. The once bright mural towers above you, saying, Feld Electrical, R and D. Tomorrow is just a whisper away. It's at 58%. Let's see what happens. Suddenly, there's a sigh carried on the molecules around you, moving, flowing from high pressure to low pressure, like that of a woman emptying her lungs. She wraps the collapsing stone box in front of you in her breath, flowing through it. That was an 11. Jeez. That's awesome. Where does it go? In through the collapsed roof, flowing down a concrete staircase to the basement, sweeping away footprints in the dust on the stairs, and then the beach below the boardwalk, its winding tunnels, a whisper away. What is happening? She's down there. Oh. Does Shivers always talk to you like that? Is that like the voice of the city speaking to you? That's really cool. Say, I think she's down there, below this building. Okay, why? We've looked everywhere else. Right, how do we get in there? The doors were on the collapsed side of this building. They're gone, basically. Finally, my time to shine. Savoir Fair, <laughs> finally, because it hasn't been used in so long. There's a ladder next to the sign. Perhaps we can climb it, enter through the roof? Oh god. Perhaps you can climb them. We are not climbing anything. I'm 43 years old, and I plan to live to see 70. Can I? Oh my god, I can try to climb it, and this is no longer available. Okay, um... Climb the ladder to the roof, or find another way into the Feld building. Oh boy. Hang on, okay. What all do I have? Because I'm getting close to time. Let me see what all I can do before I try to do this. Um, maybe... Keep looking, maybe someone else knows something? Am I supposed to call... Huh. Maybe... I did never call uh, the lady again from the very beginning of the game, the absent bartender, would that move this quest forward? Uh, or I guess doing the Everart stuff would help me. Um, this take a long while. This I don't want to do yet. This I'm not going to do. This I don't want to do yet. Um, this I might try to forge the signatures. I don't know where to check on the boardwalk for that. Uh, that I can't do. That I don't. I don't know if I want to do that. Don't want to do that. Need. Do I have enough for a point yet, or no? No, I don't. Um. Need to help with getting them in the church before I do these two. This I can talk to Suno about right now. This I can do right now. This I can't do right now. And this I can't do until I get that open. Okay, so... Oh, I gotta switch out my stuff. My very limited options seem to be... Either... Um... Talk to Suno about forming the committee... Or climbing the ladder. Unless I can somehow, some way, find out where I need to stand here to get the boardwalk check. Unless it is on the roof of the Feld building. Um Yeah, actually I actually the roof of the Feld building might would make the most sense. It's a strategic vantage point. I don't know what the Savoir Faire check for that would be, though. Let's, let's go ahead and check the last trap. 
I know the task is done, but we can still check it. Just dead and dying locusts, and the slow swaying of surrounding reeds. Poor things. Alright, I guess it's the end of that. I wonder if there's a way for me to get to the island beyond... Get it, just trying to get there by land. Like, maybe that bunker can get me to it, or, uh... Maybe someone has to sail me there. But for now, I think what we'll do is... Let me... Let me see what check it takes to get those signatures. Because I could just do that. But I don't know, since I didn't take on the name of a Tequila Sunset, I don't know if they'll help me. Let me see, which one would it be? Maybe this guy? Tequila Sunset. Could you and your pals sign this document? What's it about? He waves his hand uh, apathetically. Oh. I'll let my hand address the situation. Maybe you've heard. I used to be a very successful businessman. I've signed more than a few lease forms, or whatever the fuck they were. Anyone's got a pen? The pro's gonna do it. No, unfortunately. I got a freebie when I purchased a whole carton of cigarettes. Smoke cigarettes, get a free pen. Deals don't come any sweeter. <laughs> the writing under the Tiny Crown logo reads, Royal Extra. Thanks, Rosie. He grabs the pen and paper from your hands and very carefully scribbles on the dotted line, Idiot Doom Spiral. I need at least two signatures in the document. Hey, Abs. Hey, Abs. He shouts to the mumbling drunkard next to him. Don't you? You're cool. Have a go. I need you to sign this document right here. It's important. His trembling hand catches the paperwork. He lays it out on his knee and starts writing slowly. The handwriting is almost illegible due to his shaky hands. Don't call Abaclaw. <sighs> Great job, Abs. Nailed it. <laughs> he hands it back to you. Thanks. No problem. Now, where did I put that? Uh... Fucking hard work done for the day, man. Mm-hmm. He snorts and takes a squ swig from his bottle. The bottle is empty. Thank you for your services, gentlemen. Should we go and mail this? I think I saw a mailbox on the plaza. Mailbox, plaza, got it. I wonder if, uh... Hang on. By the members of the Union of Moribund Alcoholics. So I'm wondering if, um, the reason why I had the thought that, um, the reason why I wouldn't want to forge the signatures would be that the phishing, I could see it going two ways. On the one hand, if they find out the signatures are fake, they wouldn't be able to use it. Um... On the other hand, the uh, Everart might be smart enough to try and use those forged those forged signatures as real and like bribe people so that the um, construction goes forward anyway. And then I wouldn't have like the the fishing village wouldn't have enough money to like hire a lawyer to get that taken care of. Um. With these guys, it's also risky. It's also really risky because having them sign it will 
uh, whenever they open the letter, it'll be unequivocally certain that the intended signees did not sign the document. However, Everard is watching me. So the fact that, like, when if I have to forge the signatures, I would have to do it in private. This is not private. Which means if Everard's people saw me sign this, I could be in trouble. But... That is a thing for another time. It's it's risky either way, um, and I'm but I mean like it's not a huge loss if I don't end up working with Everard or if Everard doesn't help me find my gun. I'm pretty sure I'm capable of being able to find it on my own. So when we get to When we come back, we're going to end the episode here. Today was a really good one. We went to the, uh, um, whirling and talked to Lena. And that was, that was such an interesting conversation. I didn't, like I said, I didn't expect that task to end as emotionally as it did. Um, and it just, like I said, the writing is fantastic in this game. Um, and then we made progress with a Sunday friend making the committee and we'll try to get in contact with them soon and we talked to the wind That was a super big one. So when we come back We are going to Probably put the point into physical instrument so that I can try to open the thing again We will also um, Go to Suna if we can get that open and then talk to Suna and then do both tasks at once with talking to the coalition and then giving her what she wants so that she can clear out of the church, um, that would be awesome. And then we will uh, go up that ladder and see if we can find our way into the Feld Electrical Building. And that'll probably lead us to Ruby. I also do at some point, if I get enough points for it, I do want to take on that Arno Van Eyck thought, because I think that's going to come in handy. The uh, points in Volition are, uh, or not Volition, the points in Interfacing are nice, plus that's just like a music related one is something that I'm interested in. Um, so yeah, it's crazy that I'm already so close to filling all of those up, but I think I really am shaping who I want my Harry to be through these thoughts, and I'm happy with that. So, uh, yeah, look forward to all of that next time. So thank you everybody so much for checking out the video. I really do appreciate it. If you want to be notified of when I upload the next part of the file to the archives, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and ring that bell, as well as leave a like or comment if you so desire. Thanks again, and I will see you next time. Upload successful. Click here to view previous files. Have a pleasant day.